Hi there. In this video I want to take a look at Microsoft Photo Story 3 for Windows. You can have this on XP, uh, Vista, or 7. All you need to do is head over to the Microsoft website and do a search for Photo Story 3. It's a really easy way to take some still photos and make a video clip that you could then upload to YouTube or put directly into a web page or just share the video file with friends and family and that kind of stuff. So uh, I've already jumped ahead and I've downloaded Photo Story 3. and then once you get it downloaded and installed let's go ahead and start this up here there we go and I've got photo story 3 for Windows started up and I'm going to begin a new story story is basically their project name even though in the second option they have edit a project so I'm going to begin a new story so I'll click next and one of the first things I'm going to do is import pictures so I'm going to go ahead and import and I actually already organized some digital photos uh, on my desktop I just create a little photos folder and I've got some digital pictures and you could go through and add them one by one notice these are not already optimized for the web they're all pretty big but that's okay I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of these uh, photos right here and click OK and then I've got my pictures in so this is the photo story editor here and as you can see there's a little timeline down here in the bottom portion of my working space and I can actually rearrange videos, or I'm sorry, rearrange my photos uh, to corner a series of events, hence make a story. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now they notice they also have some editing options for each photo. I think I'm pretty happy with how my photos look at the moment, so I'm not going to really do any editing. But notice you do have some color change, red eye removal, and you can also rotate some images. That'll really come in handy because obviously when you're taking digital pictures, some of them may be in portrait versus landscape and that kind of thing. So I'm in pretty good shape there. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. It tells me here, I'm getting a little pop-up, all the pictures of my photo story have black borders. Your story will have a better appearance if the black borders are removed. It is recommended that you use the remove black borders option or crop your pictures to remove the borders before continuing. Uh, yes, I'm going to go ahead and continue without removing black borders. Okay, now I'm at a, the second phase, add, add titles to your pictures. And basically you can go to each individual image and you can start to plug in text overlays kind of describing the photo. Okay, so I'll go ahead and add a little text here. Um, for this particular picture I'll put in uh, Sean Climbing North Sister. go. I'm just going to move the text up there. Um, let me go and change a little bit about it. Uh, let's see, since it's kind of a dark photo, I'll go ahead and make some bright yellow text. How does that look? There we go. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and stick it up near the top. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, how's it look at the bottom? And I'll go back to the top. Okay, so I've got some text on there, and there's even some effects here where you can actually kind of change some characteristics about the photo. So check this out. So I'm going to go to uh, Diffused Glow for a second. Because my pictures are pretty big, it takes a, takes a bit, and that kind of changes that. But I'm going to go back to, and of course we can do black and white, that one's pretty common. I'll go back to none, just put it back to original state. Okay, and I could advance through different pictures and put text on different things. And that's kind of a nice thing to do to describe the photos that people are seeing. So I'm going to click Next to go on to the next phase. Narrate your pictures and customize motion. Okay, now this is kind of a cool thing. Uh, ultimately, our finished product is going to be a video which kind of goes through each photo. And it does a little bit of default animation and stuff like that. And it's really quite nice. But you can also put in some custom motions. So I'm on this particular photo right here. And I'll go to Customize Motion. And when you run your finished product, it's going to do these kind of zooms and pans. And it's really kind of fluid and it's telling me right now that this is the start position and the end position so I could say you know what this is it's gonna start and it looks like it's gonna kinda of zoom in on this end end result over here and that could be exactly what you want in your first couple of tries with photo story you might just want to keep the default settings to see what you get uh, but you can go ahead and make some modifications to that so I can say alright for this picture let me start out just by maybe looking at a small section of this particular route and then my in position, maybe I'll zoom out. 
okay, and see the whole thing. And we can kind of control a little bit more about how this picture is going to change from the starting phase to the ending phase. We have the option, of course, to set the duration. Right now it's going to take about eight seconds to go from this to this. So I'll keep it there, but you could be very precise and you could put in the number of seconds that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that set or make you know save my changes. By the way, there's also some transition effects too. Transitions are how it looks from one picture to another picture. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the transition uh, set the transition transition duration to automatic. And I'm going to keep it on the crossfade transition. So I'll just click on save and then close. And I'm going to move on to the next phase. The next phase is add background music. And this is always a fun part here. Uh, if you already have some digital music on your computer, this is a good way to go. Because this is a Microsoft product, it tends to, you know, the, you can use MP3 files, but uh, Windows Media files tend to work really well. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, next. Actually, no, I'm sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Select Music. Now, if you're going to do Select Music, then, of course, you want to have your files available to you. This is where you get into a kind of a stickier situation. If you're just doing this for your, you know, for fun, for friends and family, and not going to be publishing it, then you can use your music. But if you're using copyrighted material, you don't want to go and publish that on YouTube. So I'm going to do the Create Music option instead of using some pre-produced music. So I'll go ahead and create music, and for genre, I will choose some rock. And of course, I am a big fan of the 80s rock, so I think I'll keep that. And let me just kind of see how this sounds here. Ooh, this sounds really bad. Really, really bad. Electric guitar. Tense. Alright, so you may want to use your MP3 files. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this though. I'll click OK. And you can see here how my music is going to take up all the length of my uh, my photos here. So I'll have the music going for the entire time of my photo story. And I'm doing really good here. I'm almost done. I'll go ahead and click Next. And what do I want to do with my story? It's, I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to specify the location. So it's going to save it as a WMV, a Windows Media video file. So let me go ahead and browse. And I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my desktop, I think, just for now. It's just a practice file. PhotoStory1.WMV is fine. Oh, there it is. Photo, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And Next. And it's building my photo story right now. Okay, now it's all finished, and I'm going to go ahead and click View My Story to see the finished product here. It's opening up my little Windows Media Player, and here it is. Oh, that music is so bad. Let me get rid of that music. <laughs> okay, so this always would sound a little bit better with uh, some actual real music on there. There are some places out on the web where you can get some free background music that actually sounds pretty good, so you might want to investigate that. You, you could save it to your computer, and then you could incorporate that into your videos, that overly synthesized crap uh, really uh, doesn't do your photos justice. So this is my little WMV file and it's kinda nice and then of course you could take this and you could email it to friends and family, you could publish it out on the web, you could burn it to a disk. Bunch of different options there. You can also publish it right to YouTube and then you can just give people a web address for where they can go and find that video.